So back in the 80s, it was quite uh, common to, to get magazines like this. And uh, there were several versions out there. This one was compute, and it covered several models of 8-bit computers and ended up moving on to uh, Amigas and STs later on in the 16-bit world. But uh, there were others like Computes Gazette, which was more uh, Commodore 64, Big 20. I think it had Big 20 in it. I know for sure it had 64 stuff. And then you had Ahoy and Run and, and other things like that. But what was cool about these, it actually would come with a game on uh, some of the issues. And not like modern uh, magazines would, where it would come with a code where you download it off the internet or come with a diskette or a CD. It would actually come with something like this. And you, you were supposed to type that in, and then the end result would be a game. So in this one, um, this one came with uh, Biker Dave. So I thought uh, it'd be neat to show one of those today. And to do this, I'm going to type it up on my modern day replica here. The I call it C64 Maxi. Some people don't like that name because it doesn't say it on the box, but that's what I call it. So don't take offense. So what we're going to type, uh, what we're going to do is type this in and uh, see what it looks like. What kind of game do you get free in a magazine like that? So how this thing was listed, uh, this was the, the Atari version, and it ends right there. And then the, uh, you have to, because you have to hunt for it, because they kind of mix them in together. But here's the start of the Commodore 64 version. So you're starting right here. And it goes on to the next page. And it finishes up. It finishes up right there. And then at that point, the IBM PC version starts. And uh, all right, let's give this a whirl. was always the fun part was trying to prop the thing up luckily I have a modern day monitor is quite large compared to the the old original television set that I used to use as a kid when doing this Now, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. Well, let me uh, go ahead and just type it all in and then just come back to it. All right, this is what we have now. In all its glory. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, this is the November 1986 copy of Compute. It's issue number 78. The cool thing is you can get uh, electronic scans of these on the internet. And uh, if you want to refer back to them and Take a look look at them if you don't happen to have any. Uh, that's a good way to do it. All right, let's see if this game actually runs now that we went through all this. All right, now here's your speed here. That's the key part to take note of. So I'm going to guess about 95 miles per hour to get through the flaming hoop. Oh, got it. 145. Oh, too much. Crashed. Try that again. Not very robust in the way of controls, but keep in mind the size of this file. Yeah, it's relatively small. Although it probably didn't seem that way when folks were typing this in. Not ah, too fast. Okay, I'm 
Hopefully I can get through it this time. Ooh, let's go with 95. Oh, I made it. 120. Too much. Oh, come on. I got to complete at least one level. <laughs> this is my last bike. If, it, if I don't make it, I'm just going to stop trying on this one. Success. Got it. And it just starts over. And that's, I don't know if you notice it, it added a car and it moved the ramp a little on this one. So uh, if you memorize the speeds, it's not gonna do you any good because they're not the same each time. That's a clever bit of programming there. Let's go ahead and stop that for a second. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video and, and show uh, some, especially the younger generation that, that wasn't around during the 1980s. What? <laughs> What these things were like so anyway that's uh that's all i got for this video short one have a good one